Wow, this is Mill Tokyo? It's huge! Is this your first time here? Uh, yes ma'am, it is. I should have said something earlier, but just drop the formalities. That kind of thing makes me itch. Yes ma- I mean, okay. I hope Glaucius' core is still here. Regal and I both know this town like the back of our hands. I'm sure we'll find it. Let's pay a visit to the item shop first. All right. Well, Tokyo's so huge. I bet you could get lost here pretty easily. This was the capital of Tepa'ala when the world was still divided in two. So both people and goods gather here. Ugh, it's no wonder that people in Tepa'ala look down on us. Marta? No town in Silverant can even come close to this size. We don't even have a leader to unite the people as a proper country. But Silverant was ravaged by the Desions. The prosperity we Tetha'alans have enjoyed was at the expense of your people. If anything, we should be making every effort to repay what we've taken from you. Please forgive us. Oh, that's not what I meant. I wasn't blaming the Tetha'alans. I was just thinking we're going to have to build a city to equal Mel Tokyo ourselves. You're amazing, Marta. Hey, you're Silver Auntie too, so we're in this together. Right. Wasn't that Tokunaga? It certainly looked like him. Someone you know? Yes, the Chosen of Tetha'ala lives in this city and... Selos. Oh right, you met him in Palma Costa? Yes, you said you did. Anyway, the man you just saw is a butler to the Chosen's sister, Selos. Really? Maybe he's running errands for her then. Yeah, probably. All right, let's go inside and talk to the shopkeeper. What can I do for you? Um, we're looking for a rare jewel that was found in... Ah, I know the item you're talking about. Someone brought it then? They sure did, but I already sold it. Who did you sell it to? Sorry, I can't tell you. Customer confidentiality and all that. You understand, don't you? What do you mean? Merchants are bound to keep their customers' information private, especially where high-priced items such as jewels are concerned. If the wrong people found out who possesses such a priceless item, the buyer could become a target for theft. It's just as the gentleman here says. Sorry, I can't help you. But it's not just the person who bought it who'd be in trouble. The whole city would be in danger. I have an idea. How about we go and ask His Majesty? His Majesty? The King? Why? Most of the customers for fine jewels are members of the nobility. And they tend to show off their latest purchases. I see. We'll hobnob with the local aristocracy and find out which one has Glaucius's core. Good idea, Regal. You never cease to amaze me. A duke and a scholar to boot. Regal, you're a duke? I suppose I forgot to mention it. This is the first I've heard of it. Wow. President of a huge company and a duke, too. Amazing. I may have titles and rank, but under all that, I'm still flesh and blood like you. All right, let's get going to the castle. All of Lloyd's friends are really amazing people. It makes me wonder about the Lloyd that they believe in. If it wasn't for the Centurion's Corps, Maybe he'd even be an okay guy. Yeah, maybe.
That's it? That's it? It's over! Dark Radiance! I'll end this! Savage Reaper! Converging Fury! Dark Radiance! Of course I won!
too weak. Won't work. Pathetic. 